it is a microfiber mat that does not fall apart. Right. It's done in a proprietary way, which John will explain to you, so that the fibers are actually fastened to the backing. It is machine washable, but you don't get millions of fuzzies coming out all over the place, filling up your lint trap, and the rug doesn't start, you know, shedding as you're walking on it. It's also very, very soft. It's absolutely beautiful, and we have it for you as a top find today because, frankly, over 40,000 of these mats have been sold. Just this one mat, very, very popular. Popular. We have two sizes for you. One is what we call the large, which is $24, and it's 26 by 38, which will be the two that we have in the front. We have only these two colors remaining in the large. And then in the extra large, which is the larger one behind us, we have three colors left. That is a 34 by 52 inch mat, and it's $34. Now, let me just hop over here and tell you, <laughs> it's last call on the brick red. We have seriously a handful of the brick red left to go around, and only in this extra large size. The other two colors are called simply brown, but again, tonal with the beautiful design. And then we have it for you in the sage green. So, John, I know these are really special and yes. it's not just like something you pick up at the big box home store <laughs> right. where they have a million rugs and none of them are really that great. Exactly. You know, everybody's familiar with our microfiber mops, how, how well they clean the floor. Well, we converted that into a doormat, but we had to do it in a specific way that they wouldn't shed mm -hmm. like the ones you buy in the store and it wouldn't discolor your floor with a black rubber backing. Oh, yeah, that's okay. bad too. Right. So before I get into that, let me just tell you what the proof in the pudding is here. Okay. What I have here is a tray of mud, uh -oh. okay? The darkest mud possible on planet Earth. I got my work boots on. I never even wear these on air, but I, I figured I wear my work boots because if the husbands come home after a day in the mud, now what I'm gonna do from this mud tray is I'm gonna take one step onto the mat. Now I'm gonna wipe a little bit, just barely twisting my foot here, but here's what I wanna show you. I've got a piece of paper back here. I'm gonna step on the paper. Now watch what I do. I'm gonna lift my foot up and oh, it, get it's out. clean. Yeah, all right? Wow. Look at that. This is dry, okay? One little tiny crumb, but that is what these mats do. You cannot do this with any other mat, okay? So this is really gonna, in, in an indoor situation, yep. trap whatever's on your shoes. Exactly, so. Oh, the brick red is already gone. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. that disappeared right. quick. 300 of these already <laughs> gone. Okay, go ahead. Uh, again. Now, I'm going to keep stepping in the same part of this mat for, for the whole demonstration because if you buy the, the extra large mat, you'll literally put it in front of your door for months yep. before you even have to pick it up and put it in the washing machine. Now, we made the machine washable so that it's easy to clean, but the only thing I want to mention to people is don't put them in your dryer because of the rubber backing. Yeah. Okay. But look, I just stepped on the mat again, and it's perfectly well, and clean. John, what I'm noticing, too, and I'm sure the viewers are as well, I don't see anything on the rug. Because it absorbed into it. So that you don't, you're not making the rug look all dirty right. with your shoes well, either. Especially with, with the brown mat, because I mean, that's that natural color of the dirt. Mm -hmm. These have an extremely low profile, so no matter what kind of door you have, your door is going to swing over top of it. And we did a neutral color TPR rubber, okay? It's a synthetic rubber that doesn't dry rot. It won't discolor your floor. A nice border on them. and and. The most important thing is they don't fuzz up. Yeah. We made this just like a real carpet. We, we found a loom. It took us five years to do this, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. We found a carpet loom, and we wove microfiber into the loom. So it's made like a real rug so it doesn't shed. Now, again, I'm going to step on the mat again. Same spot over and over, just a little bit of a wipe. You could have a marching band come through your house and walk on this mat and then walk right onto a white carpet. Look at this. Perfectly amazing. <laughs> that's right. amazing. So that's going to save you so much time and toil, not having to constantly clean what tracks through your floors in those high traffic areas. So remember, this is for as you enter the front door for your foyer. It's for any of the doorways in your home, patio doors, back doors, utility room. It's also for your kitchen. Uh, this is comfortable to stand on, very uh, soft on your bare feet even. And you can put this in front of the sink, in front of the uh, the stove yep. uh, where you're doing uh, all of your work. It's great for a powder room. It's great for the office. I mean, really anywhere in your home. Those are, I believe, Dan's dogs coming through the door there. <laughs> but I have to tell you, with my army of puppies and kitty cats, this is going to be a huge time saver for me. Well, if you think about how much time you spend mopping, sweeping, and vacuuming, you properly mm -hmm. mat every single entrance to your home. And this is mm -hmm. Don Asset's number one cleaning mm -hmm. secret. If you properly mat your entrances, it'll cut your cleaning in half. Okay, here's what's <laughs> left, everybody. These are flying out. Uh, we are very busy. 
The sage is uh, the most limited. The brown, however, is extremely popular right now. We have completely sold out of the brick red. We have no idea when we can get more of these in. It's going to be a while. So if you want one of these or several, I would pick up a couple of these if I were you. We usually, most of us have more than one doorway. Oh, sure. Um, this is a great rug. And also, John, uh, not only is it super functional, it's beautiful looking. I isn't it? Now, we made the, we call this one the large mat. Your mm -hmm. door is 36 inches wide. Mm -hmm. So we made this 35 inches wide. So if it's perfectly right in, be in between your trim, if you want to go for the extra large mat, yep. in my mudroom, I put it lengthwise. Ah, good idea. So that the pets have to at least hit each foot twice before they come across I it. love that. By the time they get into my hardwood kitchen floor, their feet are perfectly dry. And, you know, I was telling you before the show, I have like a sizal rug in my uh, family room, which uh, actually was one of our today's special values. It's absolutely beautiful and easy to clean, but it's a little bit scratchy yeah. for the puppies. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these to just kind of toss around in the family room for them to lay on like a dog bed, <laughs> like a soft little mat, instead of those Sherpa things that right. shed everything. Everywhere. That's six times I've stepped on the same sheet of paper. It's still perfectly dry wow. and clean because that's what these mats do. This is the only mat that was good enough for Don Aslett to yep. bring to QVC. We had to address the shedding issue, which mm -hmm. we did. We made it into a carpet loom, mm -hmm. no shedding. The backing will not turn your color, your floor black. Right. With certain floors, if you have radiant heat under your floor. Right. A, a black backing can actually discolor your floor. This is a neutral color backing. We made it beautiful. It doesn't, even though it is a commercial mat, it doesn't look commercial. And let me mention, this is Dawn Aslett microfiber. Yes. These are, we've sold thousands of these microfiber mops that are made out of a, the similar microfiber to these rugs, which you know, very absorbent, as John is showing you. <laughs> so if somebody has a PP accident on this, or who knows what gets tracked in, um, it's gonna absorb it. If if you can't get to it right away, it's not going to stain your floor. And then also, when you do have uh, time, you can throw it in the washer. Exactly. You throw these in the washing machine. They're not going to fall apart in the washer like typical microfiber mats do because this is loomed onto a backing just like a rug. So the microfiber is not going to come out and pull out. If your cat scratches on, it's not going <laughs> to fall apart. This is a really popular mat for that reason. You know, we spent mm -hmm. five years developing the technology. We, we finally found a loom that would accept the microfiber yarn mm -hmm. to begin with. Mm -hmm. That was very difficult to do. And then the, the only way you can make a pattern in a mat is on a loom. You can't do it with, with the store-bought mats. Mm -hmm. They're all either gray or charcoal, which is, you know, if you don't mind that color. But they're, that microfiber is just glued to a rubber backing. And when you do this on those kind of mats that you see elsewhere, you get a big ball of fuzz. Yeah, it all comes apart. Right, and it gets stuck in your dryer trap and in your, in your washing machine. Yeah. Here, no lint. Yeah. It, it absorbs. Nice. That's nine times I've stepped on that same sheet of paper, okay? It's not even wet. <laughs> nope. I mean, I see wow. barely a little tiny bit. But just imagine, you wow. bring groceries in on a rainy day. Yep. Six or eight trips back and forth to the car. You're not taking your shoes off. Mm -hmm. Your pets, they don't wipe their feet. They just walk across it. Mm -hmm. that, that's why I'm barely wiping my feet. Yeah. You don't have to stand here and scrub and scrub and scrub. When I step in this mud, I step on the mat. I'm giving it just, you're probably going to wipe better at home than I, I am here. I just give it a little wipe. I step there and I step here. Wow. Okay. And there we go. 2,500 <laughs> now ordered. And, and even if your dogs are walking across it, yeah. that's still going to give them a couple of steps to wipe off their paws of whatever's on their mud or salt or wet before they get onto your floor. Okay. If you want the sage green in the 26 by 38 size, which is this guy right here, the large, there's about 500 left, that's it. And again, we do not know when we can reorder this. And then in the extra large, a few more than that. So our sage is the more limited now, very popular decorating color. But don't forget about the brown, which is very popular in this show because it is probably the most dirt camouflaging yes, and it also is. it's the most neutral. So no matter what color you have going on in your home or on your floor, uh, this is going to work because it's so neutral. And again, a beautiful sort of a, a leaf pattern on there, which is could be, could be modern, could be Americana, could go with any type of decor. And we made it what's called north, south, east, west. So, so you know, some mats that have a pattern, you can only put one way. Right. We made it so that even if you put this lengthwise mm -hmm. in your mudroom, it's still got the same pattern. 
Okay. Yeah. Now, again, I've stepped on this mat 11 times already. I don't see anything dripping off of it. There's nothing that's going to drip Sh off of it. Turn it around and show them the back. Yeah, here's the nothing back. Nothing went through it either, you guys. Uh, it, it won't. You could, you could, you know. There's no <laughs> wetness coming through onto our wooden floor. You could, le you could have 100 people walk across this mat from a tsunami, mm -hmm. okay, and you're going to have a perfectly dry right. foot, a perfectly clean floor. Or if your doggy didn't quite make it out the door before he had to go, <laughs> yeah. uh, don't worry, you can throw this in the washer and it's not going to get through to your floor. Uh, let's say hi to Ann in California. Sure. Hi, Ann. How are you, dear? Good morning, Carolyn. I'm good, very well. Good morning. Please meet my friend, John. It's nice to meet you, well, John. Hi. I've been you waiting too, for these to come back on. Oh, <laughs> good. Good. So you've been waiting to get one for your home? I have been. My front door opens right into my living room. Okay. And when I water outside on my plants, mm -hmm. my feet are wet. Mm -hmm. I have new hardwood floors. And he said something that intrigued me. He said, put it the lengthways. Yeah. And yes. that will work out perfect. I never yeah. thought of that. Like you right. see right there in the mudroom. Yeah, because the design yeah. is such that it's not going to look upside down or sideways, right. no matter which direction <laughs> you put the rug. Well, it looks very pretty, and it, I have an area rug in my living room that I couldn't possibly match, but it has brown colors, and perfect. I think this will okay. go together nicely. And I think this is perfect for you, Anne, and I know exactly what you mean. A lot of homes, you do step right into either the stairs or right into the living room, just like you're describing. And what do you put there? Because, you know, you're not always going to come in with perfectly clean shoes. So, no, I don't. And right. I'm 82 years old, mm -hmm. and I live in a granny flat. Ah, very good, uh, very good. My home adjoins my daughter's home. I like it. And um, I'm looking for things that are easy to take care of. If this goes into the washing machine, that's wonderful. It does. And then just hang it to dry, honey. Just put it, uh, and it, by the way, it's microfiber, so when it comes out of the washer, it's going to practically be dry exactly. anyway. Exactly. So, oh, okay. um, but, but we, well, we have to wrap, and we're out of time, but I know you'll love it, and thanks for shopping with us. Thank you very much, Carolyn, and okay. thank you to John for <laughs> thank you, these Ann. things. <laughs> thank Happy you, Ann. Thank you, Ann. Take care, honey. Bye so, uh, 4,000 ordered, sage green in the large, which is this one, only 200 left. A few more than that in the extra large. We have both sizes available in the brown. Not sure when these are going to be able to come back. So take advantage of, uh, you know, having a nice clean floor with these. Thank yes. you, John. These My are great. Pleasure. Thank you. All right, everybody. Here comes Dan. We're going to talk about a great way to improve your posture and a comfortable way to sit. Absolutely. Uh, Carolyn, for those of us who have back problems, sitting is the most uncomfortable thing in the world. This gentleman here has become a, a lifelong friend.